What's going on pranksters? Welcome back to another video where I'll share some of my favorite tips and tricks that will help you get the most Halloween candy when you go trick or treating this year. But before we get started with that, I want to let you guys know that if this video gets 2000 likes before Halloween, I will pick a winner from the comments and that person will get a treat basket filled with 1000 pieces of candy. And I mean the really good candy guys. And to participate, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below telling me what you wish you could dress up as this year. If we reach that goal, I'll also make more how to get more Halloween candy videos. Best of luck pranksters, now let's get this video rolling. Here's a classic trick that a lot of people are not falling for anymore. It used to be that a lot of trick or treaters would walk around carrying two treat baskets. One was theirs and the other one they would claim that it was their siblings basket and that they are trick or treating on their behalf. Well most people don't believe that anymore but there's a way that you can still make it look believable. For this you will need an accomplice though. Using a phone record one of your siblings pretending to be sick and try to make it look as sad as possible. And of course you'll have to return the favor for them so your siblings can also do this trick. At the end of the night everybody will collect more Halloween candy. If you are still too young to go trick or treating alone and have your parents take you, well why not put them to work? That's right guys, have them dress up and trick or treat to get more candy. There really isn't an age restriction to trick or treating so pretty much anyone can do it as long as they have a costume. You might think that the earlier you trick or treat the more time you'll have to collect the most candy. Although this is true, it's also a good idea to wait and trick or treat towards the end of the night as most people have already gotten tired of waiting for trick or treaters and just want to get rid of their candy so they themselves can enjoy Halloween and either go to a Halloween party or just stay home and watch a scary movie. So they end up giving away handfuls of candy and if you just happen to arrive right before they're calling it a night, you might get a lot of candy from just that one house. When you go knocking on doors trick or treating you don't always have to say anything. In fact you can just let a simple sign get you more candy. And by that I mean that if you take some poster paper and you write on it something clever like this right here. That says he will take me to Disneyland if I get 1000 pieces of candy. Any adult that sees that will most likely want to contribute to your goal and instead of giving you one piece of candy they will give you 5 or even 10 pieces. Try telling them that you're really close and you need about 20 more pieces of candy. That will boost up your candy numbers even more. Another sign that never fails is the following and it's actually quite funny. This sign reads, bet you can't hit me with a piece of candy and there's even a bullseye on it. Basically what we're doing here is taunting our neighbors into hitting your sign with a piece of candy. Whether they hit the target or not, they will for sure end up throwing more than just one piece of candy and that candy is yours to keep. Most people that hand out candy also celebrate Halloween by putting on a costume themselves. So no matter how good or horrible their costume is, try to compliment them on it and make them feel good about it. Another way to suck up to your neighbors on October 31st is by complimenting their yard or Halloween decorations that they might have on display because chances are that any house that you trick or treat at will have a bunch of decor outside. Let's say you show up at your neighbor's doorstep and pretend like you're talking to someone on the phone. As soon as your neighbor puts a piece of candy into your treat basket, pretend like that person on the other line is asking for a piece of candy for themselves. If your neighbor has plenty of candy, they won't mind giving you extra candy for that person that you pretend to be talking on the phone. Here's an awesome tip just in case you end up collecting more candy than what your treat basket can hold. If possible you can use your own mask to contain your candy until you can make your way back to your house. That way you don't stop trick or treating until you are able to offload your candy. If you have a large enough mask it might be able to hold more candy than what your actual treat basket can. Props are very important when it comes to impressing your neighbors, especially when you use them to trick or treat. So if you were to take a fake plastic zombie hand, for example this one right here, this was only a dollar at the dollar store. So I don't mind cutting into the palm. Since the inside is hollow, it's ideal for our next trick. If you notice, I will have my neighbor put a piece of candy inside the zombie hand and then quickly I'll have that candy slide into the fingers so it looks like it disappeared. So basically it's a little magic trick technique that is so simple but you're still providing your neighbors with a trick so they will have to reward you with another treat. If you're ever out trick or treating and you notice you got a really nasty candy in your treat basket and it's a candy that you just don't like. Well, turn around and open it a bit. 
just rip the wrapper a little bit and show it to the person that gave it to you. This time around, they might actually have you pick out the candy instead of them handing you a random one. In a different video, I did something similar, but I would dump all that candy into a Ziploc bag and give them back the wrapper and they would actually give me more candy. This time, we're just trying to get better candy. You can try testing the waters with this next method. Once you have a decent amount of candy inside your treat basket, you can start approaching your neighbors, but instead of them giving you candy, you tell them you want to give them candy. Obviously, this gesture will catch them off guard and it's something that they don't expect and not many adults are willing to take candy from a kid, but your good intentions won't go unrewarded and most likely you'll get a handful of candy from them. If you want people to feel bad for you on Halloween and give you the most candy, approach them in a way that will make them ask you if something's wrong. Then you pretty much tell them that it's your last Halloween because you're moving away to another country that doesn't celebrate Halloween. Of course, this would be really sad to anyone who heard you say that. I know I would try to make this your best trick-or-treating experience ever by giving you the most candy that I could. So you might want to do a good job at trying to sell your story, but hey, it's Halloween, you can get away with such tricks. If you take a coin with you while trick-or-treating, tell your neighbors to play a game with you. If it lands on one side, you only get one piece of candy, but if you guess the right size that the coin lands on, you get three pieces of candy. This is a very fast and simple method to get double or triple the candy, but if you don't have a coin, you can always just use a piece of candy. Call the side that will land facing up when you throw it up in the air. If you guess it right, you should get more candy, but state the rules to your neighbors first. Here's another game of chance using a couple dice. You can come up with any game that you want. Just throw the dice and whatever number it lands on, that will be the amount of candy that your neighbors will put in your basket. So ideally you want it to land on 6, but if you take 2 dice, it might land on 12. My favorite game is actually guessing which hand has more candy. So have your neighbor put one piece of candy in one hand and three on the other without you looking, so whichever hand you choose, you'll get that candy. Why not make it seem like Christmas came early this year? That's right, instead of carrying a traditional treat basket to collect your Halloween candy, take a Christmas stocking instead. Just tell your neighbors that you are trying to fill up your Christmas stocking for your family. Most will try to contribute more than the usual amount of candy. Remember that you can also use a Christmas gift bag as well if you don't have a stocking available. This idea is one of my favorites because it's most likely to get you the most candy possible. So for every house you go to, you ask them what time will they stop handing out candy. Now remember that this varies, some houses will stop at certain times, some will stop as soon as they get tired, and some will of course stop once they run out of candy. Well you definitely want to go right before they stop handing out candy. For example, if your neighbor tells you they will stop exactly at 9pm, well that's the house that you want to come back at at 9 p.m. as they will want to get rid of their candy fast so they will probably dump out all their candy onto your treat basket again guys if you want people feeling bad for you to the point where they will give you more candy do the following instead of taking a treat basket with you you might want to use your shirt to create a pouch to carry your candy anyone that sees you carry candy this way might feel bad and instead of giving you just one more piece of candy they might give you a spare treat basket that they might have and it could contain extra pieces of candy. And those were some of my favorite ways to get the most Halloween candy possible when trick or treating. Now guys, just remember, if this video gets 2000 likes before Halloween, I will be giving away a treat basket filled with 1000 pieces of candy to someone from the comments. And to participate, all you have to do is like and comment on this video. Good luck guys, have a very spooky and happy Halloween.